Hi, this is Susie. Um, I uh, need to apologize again. I know it's been a little bit since I've done up a video. Um, just now getting over that pneumonia that I had. Boy, that was a long haul. But uh, anyhow, um, I got this lot of stuff on the Home Shopping Network. Uh, it's by Crafter's Companion Inspiration Magazine. And it came with um, two DVDs. One is a tutorial. And the other is let me turn it around here. Is a DVD full of uh, digi stamps, um, pictures. There's so much stuff on here. It says there are over 650 printable elements and it is awesome um it also came with this embossing folder this die set and this set of uh, photopolymer stamps and I love these stamps I think they're so pretty and the magazine basically you're buying the magazine and you get everything else for free um, an amazing price on it I thought Regular price for this set is $24.95, and I got this, and it is still on sale for $19.95 with $5.20 shipping and handling on the Home Shopping Network. Um, it is called Crafter's Companion Idea Magazine 2 with Accessories. Um, the thing that is really awesome about this magazine is it coincides with the DVD with all of the printable stuff on it. So it's got page after page of um, tutorials that have all the printable stuff on them that you can uh, print, download and print. So it gives you a tutorial for like one out of every section because there was like several different sections of different elements. Um, let's see. Uh, one was called Fanciful Fairies and there are several different elements in each category that you can download and print. Um, and just the most beautiful things. Um, uh, kimono creations. And this is um, a uh, oriental themed uh, section and then super cute and there are several like I said there's several different uh, different there's several different pictures and digi stamps and all kinds of goodies uh, with in every section um, Sheena style is the next one um, Bygone Beauties, Pretty in Purple, 
And I love these. I think these are so cute. Uh, more than words. Uh, only words, I guess, is the name of this one. Uh, time to celebrate. Welcome home. And it's like a travel type, um, part. Um, bold botanicals. And these are the poppy uh, dies and stamps right here. Very vintage. I love the very vintage section too. It's so, so pretty. Uh, twist and turns. And I love this one too. Uh, surfs up. And then Perfect Poppies, again, to go with the set. And I believe we're going to do this card. I think this is what I'm going to do today. Uh, bon, Boy bon Voyage. I'm just going real quickly through the different sections and stuff. So you get an idea of what you get. Um, into the Fold. Pretty Perfection. I love this set too. I think it is so cute. Uh, Oriental Charm. Pretty Poppies. Romantic Roses. And Fancy Folding. This is really cool. I love that. Uh, frame to Perfection. I think this is so cute, too. And Vintage Flair. Anyway, just a quick peek into the magazine. And again, I'm going to go back to the... Um, um, I want to do this card today. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys this kit that I got. And... Um, <coughs> make one of the, um, one of the cards in the tutorial. So, okay, so I'm going to set this off to the side. Okay, so I'm going to set that up where I can see it. But th this is so cool. Um, it includes 12 step-by-step -step video tutorials featuring products from Lullaby, Butterfly Lullaby and Festive Wonders Paper Crafting Collection. 100 Minutes of Inspiration by Sarah Davies. And she's the founder of um, Crafter's Companion. And here's another idea of all of the different elements that you get. All of these they show on here are, are in the on the desk. But oh my goodness, what a good deal I thought that was. Okay, well I am going to get some of my stuff lined up, get my papers out and whatnot, and I'll be back. Hello, I'm back for just a minute and then I'll go ahead and pause again. I just want to let you know what I'm doing. Um, I am going to stamp uh, the flower petals here and the leaf on a multimedia paper uh, because I'm going to be using um, alcohol markers to color these. So. Anyways, and I'm going to be stamping those images with uh, Stays On Ink uh, because you need a waterproof ink so that 
when you go to color your flowers and your leaves, the um, the black doesn't bleed uh, and get everywhere. Alrighty, well, I'm going to pause just again. I'm going to get these stamped, and I'm also going to cut them out with my Big Shot. And uh, after I stamp them, then after you stamp first, and then you align your die on it perfectly so that way you get a perfect cut and uh anyways and so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stamp them and then cut them out and i'll be back Alrighty, talk to you in a few hello this is me again um i uh am doing a little more than just regular stamping so i figured i better Come on in and tell everybody what I'm doing. Um, okay, so... Yeah, one second, sorry. Okay, so this is what the flower uh, looks like in the picture. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to stamp this pokey part. I'm going to stamp that with brown stays on ink. And then I'm going to stamp um, the little round part that goes in the center of the flower with uh, green.
So what I'm showing you here is um, I cut a white, a gold, and a, another white piece that will be the layering. I'll show you that after uh, in the description box below what the measurements are. And now I'm going to be embossing the red piece with a uh, gold embossing powder. Hello, this is Susie back again, and I'm just starting to color. I got one petal done, and um, uh, I do it a little differently than some do. Some do like I do, and some don't. I like to take my darkest color in first. I should have colored these before I cut them out. It would have made it a little easier. And then I'll go in with my light color. Because I feel like it gives me double the time to get it the darkest blended in better. Because I'll go in with the medium color in next. And I think it really helps to blend everything together nice and easy. Really good, I think. And I'm using Prismacolors. And I will tell you the color here in just a second. And basically I just go over the whole thing with my medium color. Next. And I'll go back in with my darker one. And I think that turned out pretty good. And the colors that I am using for these is the colors I'm using are Poppy Red, Cinnamon Red, and Orange. And these ones are Prisma colors.
Hello, okay, I'm back. Um, I got the four pansy petals done. Good night. And now I'm going to be working on the other little parts I got going on here. The flower and the leaves. And the, let's see, let me pull these colors out. The colors that I'm going to be working with now are Spectrum Noir's uh, JG Green. JG2, well this one's JG6, the first one is, sorry, and uh, JG4. I didn't have the three, so I kind of had to grab the two. And then I'm also going to be adding some EB7, it's a brown. Alright, okay, well let's start with these little guys here. Sorry about that, my video died. Um, what I did was I used uh, craft foam instead of foam squares because I was out of them and placed them on the backs of each of the layers and uh, then used some wet glue also to glue them down. And I also used dimensional uh, uh, sticky dots on the backs of all of the flowers and petals and leaves and whatnot. So I'm just placing placing the leaves on.
think that's pretty darn cute. And you can really tell how much dimension. Well, if you turn it sideways, you can see the squares. But I'm just showing you the dimension that's that's on there. Wow, such a pretty card. I love this one. Of my favorite cards I've ever made. I love it. I think it's so cute. Okay, well, um, I have a big mess to clean up and a whole lot of videos to splice together because, holy cow, did I get this in a lot of segments. <laughs> but anyways, I'll get it together and get it uploaded. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I love your comments. And just thank you for watching. Anyhow, and if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. Or if maybe there's a something that you've been wanting to learn about, you know, I may or may not know, you know, what that is. But there's the chance that I will so anyways um, let me know if you want to watch something specific or if there's a certain die set or whatever you're wanting to know about anyhow um, thank you guys again and I will talk to y'all later bye